um, I'm going to be doing some poetry for you. So I've got about four poems, and I'm starting off with one that is based around a character you should be familiar with, called Cinderella. These days, Cinderella stays out past midnight, gets into a cat fight, covers her love bite with her long hair as she stumbles on each stair, and she doesn't really care. What are you looking at? She says, with holes in her tights, wearing last night's dress she gets on the bus, but not make a fuss, because she kind of looks like she could throw a good punch, and has acrylic nails that make you bleed, and a straightener so powerful can make your hair recede, and as she bends down to adjust her shoe, you better pray she's not coming after you. In the street, she stumbles again, her slippers not made of glass, Trips on the uneven pavement and nearly falls onto her arse. She picks her heels up in frustration and lets her soles get dirty. And her stomach is rumbling badly now as it's coming up to th through dirty. And she hasn't had a bite to eat and all she wants is to put up her feet. But other than that, her life is sweet. So sometimes I wish I was like Cinderella. She drops her shoe and soon after gets a fella. But he always leaves her after one night with his true love, Stella. Aww. Aww. <laughs> the next poem um, is um, actually a new one. I haven't performed for a while because I'm Woo! concentrating on other things at the moment. And so um, I hope you like it. It's called Mr. Misogynist. How could I fall in love with a misogynist? Was it something in his kick? Was it something in ape that made me want to mate? Let's blame it on biology. I can't help finding you sexy. I'm talking evolution, it's the one solution because my aim in life is to procreate. So stick it in me, it must be fate. Yes, my purpose is to reproduce, so go on and service me, put my organs to use. But would you fuck with me if you knew I was a feminist? If I put my foot down and said, I'm not having any of this. I don't appreciate your comments on my fairy fever, so I think I'm gonna have to love and leave ya. How could I fall in love with a misogynist? Was it something in his kiss? I'm a waster, an orgasm chaser, just give me a taster cause I'm always falling for the joker, the smoker, the ha <laughs> I broke your heart, I tore you apart, stamped on your soul and I want to say no, I'm not going to take it anymore, you just left me feeling sore, overstimulating me when you masturbated me, felt no pleasure, I just felt raw, so no, I don't want to munch on your cock and no, you won't make my bed rock, so just go to your room and fill up your sock, fill up your sock, yeah, fill up your sock. Go to your room and fill up your sock. Um, so this is the last one I'm going to be doing now, and it's what I've been calling a poem song. It kind of makes it cute, and it's got a bit of a chorus. Um, so it's called Fix It. There are wars that have gone on longer than this. There are bombs more powerful than our kids. There are deaths that are more than metaphorical. You sing quando, 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 but it's all rhetorical. And it's the waves of the brain. They drive you insane. It's the science of sleep and the secret you keep. It's all the astrology and Freudian psychology. You put in a bomb, makes it so broken hearts and body parts. Try as we might, we cannot fix it. There are people more starving out there. There are people for whom nobody cares. There are people who are colder. Yet you told me you were a soldier. And it's the waves of the brain. They drive you insane. It's the science of sleep. And the secrets you keep, it's all the thoughts, the rology, and pride and psychology. We put in a bowl and mix it, so broken hearts and body parts, try as we might, we cannot fix it.
We tried cutting it up and sticking it together, but it doesn't work out right. We just get extreme weather and we're all awake at night, clinging onto air, holding our oxygen tight. And it's the waves of the brain, they drive you insane. It's the signs of sleep and the secrets you keep. It's all disasterology and fraud and psychology. We put in a bowl and mix it, so broken hearts and body parts. Try as we might, we cannot fix it. Thank you for listening. Woo!